not be at all. She's not opening her mouth though, is she? She's probably scared to. Hi, Chico. Oh, what are you doing? Are you in a chair? Are you? Like, what the heck? Why are you in a chair? We're not allowed in chairs. But her mom from the past let her go on the couches and the beds and the chairs. And we're well, just a little different. Her mom thought she was a labradoodle, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anyways, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Yeah? Why aren't you in this picture? Um, because we're just going to do a, like, I don't know, a you interview and maybe a treacle interview. <laughs> me interview. Yeah. Okay, yeah. oh, yeah. what's up? Not much. I just think it's hilarious that treacle's in a chair. Yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> right? And she then there's the treacle. Hi, baby. Are you in a, are you in a chair? Treacle. 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 Don't look this way. Hi. <laughs> Are you guilty of something? <laughs> this is your... Yeah, you're allowed in that chair. We'll make that your chair. Your, yours and mine. Okay. Anyways, yeah. we're back out to the bus today. It's the 5th today of yeah, September. Yeah. It's warm in the bus, but it's not too bad. Yeah. And my guy tackled a bunch of rivets yesterday in the back of the bus. So did you. Let's not kid. I did a little tiny bit. Anyways, and uh, we only have like eight more rows to do. Serious? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Oh, six more. <laughs> Minus two from the eight oh, is... Oh, well, you know it looks a lot more intimidating down that end. <laughs> you know when you're looking down here and you just... Right? It looks so lost, far away. It does. I lost yeah. count after three. Right? Yeah. Wow. Anyways, um, it, it, it gets pretty warm when you're moving and holding your arms and hanging on to something that's jumping you around. Sure enough. But um, our goal is to get the ceiling down little tiny bits at a time. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, tools that we're using, we could have probably used something a little bit thinner to get underneath the rivet a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, right. I don't know, the, one this, the one chisel thing that came with the air hammer seems to work pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of brute force. No, not really. Like it's one of those things. I, I don't know. We've just been experimenting with it. it you want to get like a um, like the rivets here, so you want to get it like as close to level as you can, sort of. It's yeah. almost like you're pushing the head of the rivet over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah to get underneath of it to take it off. Not not to get it over. You're not trying to get underneath it so much as you're trying to just not shear it off. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And there's some things which, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird, mysterious thing I've noticed. You know, sometimes it's with uh, scrubbing things, other times it's doing other things. But sometimes more force is less effective than just a, a lighter thing. force or a moderate force. Just so, letting it do its thing. And yeah, so I'm not trying to fight it, just trying to make sure that, you know, I'm pressed against it when I pull the trigger, and I pull the trigger a couple times, and, you know, most of them are coming off pretty easy. Right. So, I don't know. So you're just trying to vibrate the crap out of it to knock it off? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's so many hits per minute or something oh. like that. Oh, I got okay. the sneak and feeling by the time we get to the last row, we'll have it down pat, and it'll just, just we'll happen. know what we're doing. Right? And then we won't need to do it anymore, right, Treacle? That's right. That is correct. She agrees. That's right. <laughs> anyway, so... So, I, I don't know if anybody's inquiring yet. I've, I've put out a you know, few little invites, just subtle ones, you know, like to, to people, uh, you know, whose buses I like or whatever. And I, I'll just comment, you know, you know, like what you're doing sort of thing. And, you know, yeah. hope to see you on bus console. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, I haven't really paid too much attention whether they're there yet. I hope they are, but um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Uh, but probably the biggest question of anybody that's coming on, what am I going to do here? And one of the key things is being able to add your bus. And uh, I like that. You know, being able to uh, share stuff about your bus and, you know, let people comment on it. It's... 
it's a little cooler than you know say going on YouTube because I mean you go on YouTube and you comment on a video um, what but, can we you know, do here we can share right yeah it's, it's similar to like maybe a, like a Facebook page mm -hmm. uh, for, for the bus but you know this this is like it's a community of you know people that are interested in bus conversions Right, so. and it and it seems as though they're they're out there. They don't mind sharing, whereas um, some people don't like to let all their secrets out. But it, it seems yeah. as though people don't mind giving a little bit of information to help somebody else. I, I think I think the bus community is it's incredibly generous. Yeah, uh, you know, everybody I've seen on there, I would describe kind of as a good, kind-hearted soul, you know, they're, uh, mm -hmm. they're the kind of people that, you know, I, th I think of when I um, was going to karate, and you still yeah. are, of course, but, uh, you know, in karate, like, I mean, everybody was there for a purpose. Yeah. So you met what would uh, seem like a really uh, good number of, you know, higher quality people. Uh, higher quality <laughs> you know, not so much as better than anybody else but like I mean they really um, are, are putting something into their lives mm -hmm. they they want to improve themselves they want to help others like they're you know and if they weren't that way when they come in the door they're generally that way by the time they leave yeah and whether they go to black belt or not they're still you know, they're learning something about being around those kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so, you know, the, the people I see on the bus community, uh, they're like those kind of people, you know, and I'm That's sure that awesome. it's like that in all kinds of different uh, areas, you know, sports and, uh, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's nice to be around those kind of people. I like that. It's, it's not the usual things that you see on, say, the Facebook pages where, you know, people are just uh, down each other's throats. You, <laughs> you, make, you make a comment and you've got, you know, nine people jumping down your throat for it. Or they just like to do it to have a little bit of fun on uh, your yeah, expense. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. It's either really sensitive people or, you know, it's people that are just waiting for somebody to, you know, make a slip in something they say. And then they attack. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping, and you tell me because you know the answer to this, when will they be able to add their own bus? Um, they'll be able to add their own bus as soon as you launch. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. You're done with QA? We're ready to go? I am done with QA, but okay, so his job is to build it, my job is to look it over and possibly break it so that by the time it gets to you, it's okay and it won't break. But you know, now and then things happen where you're not 100% perfect. So if those things happen and you happen to notice something when you're adding your bus, just send us an email and we'll make sure we post you an email to contact us because we'll have a little bit of fun with it too anyways yeah so excited excited yeah. to see everybody's buses yeah. and we're excited to share our uh, what one of the other differences i think between us and say a facebook is that uh, we have the ability to pivot we have the ability to do things quickly um you know it's it's just so easy compared to a large organization for us to, you know, chat between the two of us and say, yeah, that's a good idea, let's do it, and make something available, that, you know, for, for uh, people at, you know, on our sites. Right. So, um, just to uh, get the show started, do you have any, like, something nice to pass on? Just a saying or something to refresh people <sighs> to hang together? Do you have anything to give them? I think the more they give, the more they'll get out of I like it. us and the site uh, and each other, you know. Give more, get more, share more. Yeah, I don't know, you saw it on some girl's uh, arm sometimes. Oh, I love said, that. Uh, I yeah, still want give, that. Give more than you take. Always give more than you take. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. And we're definitely givers. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. We've got to go to work now. Okay. <laughs> we'll show you a little snippets along the way. 
Awesome. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>